This is the third section of chapter 12 on differentiation and this section is about differentiating x to the power n. So the first thing is what is differentiating or differentiation? Well the process of finding the derivative of a function is called differentiation. Now how do we do that? Well if f of x equals x to the power n then its derivative f dash of x is equal to nx to the power n minus 1. So let's have a look to see what's going on here. So whatever the power is, I've multiplied by the power. So just write that down, multiply by the power. So that's where the n here ends up here. Then the second thing we did was to subtract 1 from the power. So we multiplied by whatever the power was, and then we subtract 1 from the power. That is how we differentiate a function which is x to the power n. Now there is an alternative um, notation. So if we had y equals x to the power n, then we don't write f dash of x, we write this dy over dx we say dy dx the process is the same you multiply the power and take away one from the power but this is another way of saying f dash of x so f dash of x and dy dx are the same thing they're both the derivative of a function so both of these give you the gradient function that is, if you have a function and you want to know what the gradient is at a particular point, you find a gradient function and you substitute x into the gradient function and it will give you the gradient. Example 4, find a derivative f dash of x when f of x equals, and in part a, we have f of x equal to x to the power 6. OK, so the derivative f dash of x, the gradient function. So what do we do? Well, we multiply by this power. So now it becomes 6x. So you can see what happens to the power, 6x. And then we subtract 1 from that power. So it becomes 6x to the power 5. That's all we need to do. So that means if I had the graph of um, x to the power 6 and I want you to work out the gradient at any particular point I would use this function here I just need to substitute in the x coordinate and it will give me the gradient okay b I have f of x equal to x to the power half so I want to find f dash of x the derivative so I multiply by the power so seeing as that's like 1x, it's like multiplying half by 1. So we've got half x. Then we subtract 1 from the power there. And a half minus 1 is negative a half. So you can have negative powers there. The next function we have is x to the power negative 2. So we want to find f dash of x. So we multiply the pi to power. So we're going to have negative 2x. Then we subtract 1 from this power. Now be careful, it's not going to be negative 1. We subtract 1, it becomes negative 2. And D, we have f of x equals x squared times by x cubed. So the first thing we're going to do is to simplify it. And so that will become x to the power 5. So that's what we find a derivative of. So anything like that, we simplify. So f dash of x, the power here goes to the front. So it'll be 5x to the power 5 minus 1. So it's to the power 4. And then the last part, we have f of x is equal to x over x to the power 5. So we simplify that, which means subtracting the power. So this is like x to the power 1 divided by x to the power 5. So 5 minus 1 would give us negative 4. So we've got x to the power negative 4. 
And this is what we differentiate. So f dash of x equals, so we multiply by the power. So you'll have negative 4x. Then we take 1 away from the power. So it now becomes negative 5. Negative 4x to the power of negative 5. Now we're just going to look at the answers where we've got negative powers. Now you can write a negative power using a fraction and put a negative power at the bottom. So for example, for this first one here, I could do half times 1 over x to the power half, which I can write as 1 over 2x to the power half. Or I could even write it as 1 over 2 times by the square root of x. We can write any one of those. They're all the same. This one here. So I'd write this as negative 2 over, let's write negative 2 here, over x squared. Or you could put a negative at the front. So you've got negative 2 over x squared. So that could be written that way. This one here, similar type of thing. We could write it as negative 4 over x to the power 5, or um, we could write it as negative 4 over x to the power 5. So you can write it um, negative powers at the bottom or power half thirds as roots. Um, you don't have to. If the question says leave it in a particular form, then change it. If not, just leave it as it is. Example 5. Find dy dx when y equals. OK, same process, just different um, notation. So we have y equals to 7x cubed. So dy dx. Now you'll notice it's got 7 here already. So you're going to times by 3. So you just do 7 times by 3, you get 21. 21x take away 1 from the power squared b. We have y equals negative 4x to the power of half. So we write dy dx whenever we have y equals. So we need to do half times by the negative 4 that's already there. So that will become half times negative uh, a half, become negative 2x. Take 1 away from the power. So now I've got negative a half. Then part c. We have y equals 3x to the power of negative 2. So dy dx. So the 3 is already there. We times by the power. So 3 times by negative 2 is negative 6x. Take 1 away from the power. So 6x to the power of negative 3. So like before, this one we could write as negative 2 over x to the power of half or square root x. 2 over square root x and this one here we could write as negative x negative 6 sorry over x cubed moving on to part d so here we have y equals 8x to the power 7 over 3x so this needs simplifying before we actually do the uh, differentiation and find a derivative so that's 8 over 3 then when we divide the powers here, or subtract the powers, we'll have x to the power 6. So 8 thirds x to the power 6. So dy dx equals, now we need to do 6 times by 8 over 3. So 6 times by 8 over 3 is going to be 48 over 3. And 48 over 3 is 16. So 8 thirds times by 6 is basically 16 and then x to the power take one away from the power 5 then part e last bit we've got y equals the square root of 36 x cubed so we need to do something with this so what we'll do is this is the same as square root 36 times by square root x cubed so square root 36 becomes 6 and then the square root of x cubed that's the same as saying x cubed to the power of half so you multiply the powers we've got power of power so that becomes x to the power 
3 over 2, 3 halves. So that's what we differentiate. So dy dx equals, now we need to do 6, multiply that by the power, 3 over 2, that becomes 9. And then take 1 away from the power. So take 1 away from that, we end up with power a half. So 9x to the power half. Or if we want, we could write that as 9 times by root x. So you should now be able to do exercise 12c on pages 263 to 264 of the textbook.